What's up guys? How are you guys doing today? So I'm getting a super late start to today's vlog. It's actually almost 1 p.m. And the reason behind that is because I finally slept like super long throughout the night. You guys know that I've been complaining for the past couple days that I haven't been getting any sleep and I've almost been like falling asleep during my vlogs. I took a nap yesterday for like an hour. That seemed to help a lot. Last night I actually fell asleep around 12 and I woke up almost at 1 p.m. today. So I pretty much got a full 12 hours of sleep which is honestly amazing and I just woke up feeling so good and energized. As you guys know, I got my cast off yesterday and got replaced with this one. And I've been trying to do some therapy on my hand. I've actually been able to bend my pinky finger now, which is great. I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday with bending it. The only thing that sucks is my finger is still pressed up against my other finger. So my pinky finger is pretty much lodged up against my ring finger and I can't pull it away. And I think the reason behind that is because it's so used to being pushed up against it from being in the cast as well as they cut part of my tendon. So the tendon is shorter now, and I guess it's just making it go lopsided. That is an issue that we currently need to fix. I don't know how we're gonna fix that, but it's gonna be a little journey. One thing that I am pretty excited about today is there's that Apple Keynote today, which they do this thing every year, and they actually end up releasing or talking about like a new iPhone or a MacBook, or whatever the case is. Talking about MacBooks, I actually need a new MacBook Pro. I bought this MacBook, back in like 2013 or 14 and I have not updated it since because they've never made any like major updates to their MacBooks yet. So I've been waiting for the day that they made a new one. So if they do talk about a new one today, I will definitely be getting that in the future. And I've also been holding off on getting a new iPhone for the longest time, as you guys know. I was waiting till the 7 came out. So if they do release the information about that today, I'll definitely be putting a pre-order in. Because usually how Apple does this is they'll release the information about the phone today and then the phone will go on pre-order tonight and then it'll release in like 10 days from now. Because I pre-ordered iPhones in the past and that seems to be what they usually do. I just came downstairs, I see Geo in the corner and then I see his leash right there. So somebody's lazy and didn't pick up his leash after they took it off of him. What's up boy? I can uh kind of scratchy now with this. Probably doesn't feel too pleasant. <laughs> oh, I didn't get you. <laughs> so remember yesterday when I told you guys that I was breaking out from that cast? Look at this. There's like a complete rash on my arm. All these little bumps and they hurt really bad. They're so itchy actually. Mama's making me up some eggs for breakfast and some toast. Got my eggs, Lizzie's over there helping me make some toast. And I'm sitting here watching the Apple Keynote to see if they're gonna release the iPhone 7 or not. We're watching back the vlog where Lizzie's squeaking his new toys. And Gio got up and was like looking at us and turned his head like, where's that coming from? Yeah, he was over there sleeping and he got up. Okay guys, there it is. This is the iPhone 7 Plus. This one comes with the two cameras on the back. I don't think I'm going to get the Plus because I don't like the bigger phone. I'll probably just stick with the regular 7. It said you can pre-order it now, but when I go to the website, it doesn't show anything. It's still showing the keynote, so I'm probably going to wait a little bit. Okay guys, so you're going to be with me for a little bit because Lance is upstairs working and me and his mom are going to go out and go food shopping right now, so let's go. Me and Lance's mom are going to head over to the P.O. Box. Not the UPS store, the other one, his old one. He doesn't have the key right now and she has to go fill out a form. So while we're there, we're just gonna pick up his stuff. We're about to go into the post office right yeah, now. Yeah, we're gonna go see if we can get all of his mail. Yep. <laughs> uh, I hear Mr. Softy and Lizzie's at the post office right now so she can't get it. So Apple just released some information about the new iPhone and here's the thing guys, I'm so mad right now because I was expecting them to release information about a new MacBook and unfortunately they didn't. I really need to upgrade my MacBook. I've had it since 2013. I need to get a faster processor because I can't even render 4K stuff anymore. It's super hard for me to import 4K quality into my laptop because it just lags and is super frustrating. So worst case scenario, I'm just gonna have to end up going to the store and get one of the later MacBooks. Lizzie needs a MacBook anyway, so I might just give her my old one. I'm currently recording on my iPhone, so it might be a little bit shaky for you guys because Lizzie does have my camera right now. I told you guys they went to the post office and they're picking up my mail for me right now. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up getting the new iPhone because I've been waiting for this iPhone for like the past year. I haven't updated my phone from the six because I was purposely trying to wait for the seven to come out. And the pre-orders start on Friday, so I'm definitely gonna be sitting on my laptop at like 12 o'clock sitting there waiting to be able to order my iPhone and then I'm pretty sure they start shipping on the 16th of September I remember two years ago when I ordered the new iPhone I actually had to end up waiting like an extra month to receive the iPhone because they were all like back ordered everybody was getting their new phones and they didn't have enough in stock at the time so I had to wait some extra time to be able to get it hopefully that doesn't happen this year as well boom I didn't get you you know why I didn't slam the door open because yeah, I was scared I was gonna I hit my hand you. You did? Yes, I did. 
I will get you next time, Grandma. Oh, I'm sure you will. <laughs> and then I'll call you motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't able to get Grandma on that time, but I will try and get her another time. If you guys are an old time watcher of my vlog, you would know that I did that prank on my grandma every single day. I would bust open her door and scare her like instantly. It's so easy. It's probably one of the easiest scare pranks to do because you just catch the person off guard every single time. Now going back to talking about the new iPhone really quick, what's super cool about it is it actually is waterproof now. And you guys know that I've been complaining about this for a while now because I keep destroying my iPhones. I'm always dipping it in water somehow or whether my sister pushes me in the pool and I get my phone completely destroyed or just something happens where I get my phone ruined because of water damage. So this will definitely come in handy. I definitely want to get the new iPhone because of that reason as well. It'll definitely save me money in the long run because I don't have to worry about water damage anymore. I don't know how resistant the phone actually is. It might just be like a life proof case where they tell you you can only dip it underwater for like 5 or 10 seconds. You're not supposed to keep it under there like for a long amount of time. Or if you can keep it under there as long as you want, that would be pretty cool. I don't know how resistant their water resistance actually is. So that's something we'll definitely be figuring out pretty soon as the weeks go by. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people making like test videos with it as well. I'll probably even do it myself. Actually, second thought, I might not because I don't want to fucking destroy a brand new iPhone. <laughs> and if you guys haven't been able to see the keynote or see all the features in the new iPhone, you wouldn't already know that they actually took out the ear pods jacks. So you no longer have an earphone jack on the actual new iPhone. So you have to use a lightning cable as an input for it now. And I actually tweeted out this funny picture that I want to show you guys really quick. If you guys have ever seen this meme online, you will definitely understand this joke. It says only 90s kids will remember. And then it's the original audio jack for the headphones. I don't know. I just thought that was pretty funny. A lot of people thought it was funny as well. But if you guys don't already follow me on Twitter, you can. It's at Lance210. There's my username right there. I do following spree sometimes on Twitter. I might actually do one around the time this vlog goes up. So if you guys want me to follow you, just follow me on Twitter. And I will follow some of you guys back. That little fucker. Gio just came in my room, stole my sock, and left. Where did he go? Oh, there's my sock. What are you doing, boy? He literally just came in my room just to take that and left. <laughs> my dad's delayed on the vlogs. He had to go back and watch the older ones. I'm down by three of them. You, you gotta watch three of them? And he just up. said, okay, I just got done that one. He watched the vlog <laughs> in two minutes. <laughs> Well, today's vlog's 30 minutes long. Uh -oh. What's that going to be, three minutes for you? <laughs> it's like each 10 minutes is a minute for you, right? I'll watch it. <laughs> it's been like two hours since my mom and Lizzie went to go get my mail. I don't know what they're doing. I know they had to run around and go to like one other store, but it's taking them forever. We actually got dinner cooking right now. I think we're making some pasta for dinner. What is he doing? <laughs> you want to play fetch? You want to fetch? Get him off that curtain. Here, come on. Let's go. Ready? Go get it. Where'd he go? There he is. Go get it, boy. <laughs> Look, he's scared. Run. <laughs> oh, use dad for protection. So that was an interesting experience. The woman gave me such a hard time about not having the key because I had the numbers mixed up that she wouldn't even take my license and go and look for the what number box it actually was. So I wound up just closing the P.O. box because I don't want to deal with them anymore. We'll just go to the UPS store. So the address that you guys have been sending mail to, stick with that. Don't go to the other one that he has because we no longer have a box here. Yeah. The UPS address. One in Blackwood. Yes, in Blackwood. All right, so we need to go to the food store and then we need to go to Toys R Us. So what I'm thinking is we're going to hit the food store before they close because it's the deli, like the meat store, and I'm not sure what time they close. And then we will go to, I guess Toys R Us or Walmart to find a specific game for a challenge. We just got to the deli. What do we have to go in and get? Lunch meat, rolls, some cheeses and stuff. Getcha. So that's what we're gonna do right now. And then afterwards, we're gonna head over to the P.O. box. Just got to the UPS store, trying to see if they have anything. So we got some packages, time to take them to the car. There's a lot of packages today, considering we came yesterday. Right now we're dropping off the meats right now so they don't go bad, because we have to go back out to a couple more stores. Just got to Toys R Us, now it's time to see if we can go find this game for a challenge video. So we made a Captain Rex from Star Wars out of Legos. This thing is insane. It's all made out of Legos. That is real talent right there. Holy crap. Okay, so we just got what we needed and now we're about to head home. So we're gonna pull a little prank on Lance. It was Lance's mom idea. We are going to get $500 out of the bank and we're going to put it in a box and when we take out the stuff from the trunk, 
and give it to him for his P.O. box opening. He's gonna open and he's gonna be like, what, somebody sent me $500? And little does he know it's gonna be us. We think it's like a fun little prank to pull on him. There they are. What took you guys so long? We had to go to the post office and I had a big argument with the lady at the post office. I canceled the P.O. box there. Oh, you did? Yeah, because she was a bitch. <laughs> yeah. We got everything in the trunk. We got what is that? Is that from the P.O. box? Yeah. From, oh, the yeah. The pillows that someone emailed you about. I know exactly what that is. So this company actually gave us these pillows. They're called ghost pillows. And it makes the pillows, like, cold. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Switching back over to my camera right now because Lizzie had my camera that whole time. And I was just recording on my phone. But we got these ghost pillows. And these look so cool. Somebody actually emailed me on my... Somebody actually tweeted me, and they're, I guess it was the owner of the company, and they wanted me to try these out, and they look amazing. Basically, basically, I, I feel like the best way to describe it is it's a pillow, and it stays constantly cool. The pillow doesn't heat off and get super hot on one side like it usually does. So I'll definitely be sure to try these out. They sent over two. Bringing in the P.O. Box stuff right now. You'd be in the door lady, Grandma? Yep. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Is there a lot that I need to help? Um... Your dad might have the rest, I'm not sure. Okay guys, so from now on, do not send any mail to my old post office box. The post office box that's in the description of every single video for the past few months is the one that you guys can send mail to. Just my super old one, the 5087 Herfville Road. No mail should be going there from now on because we actually just canceled that P.O. box. Because my mom was furious when she went there. If you guys remember the other day when my mom and dad were fighting. Well, they weren't really fighting. It was kind of like play fighting. My mom threw a flip-flop at my dad. It hit the wall and there's still a mark there. Obviously, nobody cleaned it up yet. I stuck wolf charcoal. Girl, what happened? You cut your bangs? No, I had an accident. You had an accident? Yeah. You clipped them on accident? <laughs> yeah, I see young girl. Would you make mom some big ZD? This Grandma looks did. good. Oh, grandma did it. The bang lady. Yeah, your father did it. I did the cheesy part. Grandma did all the hard work. <laughs> there you go, Grandma. The and your father, he did the crazy. Without the bangs? <laughs> Agent bangs. <laughs> no. Okay, guys. So what just happened was my sister said she had to get the crack out of her phone. My dad said, you got to stop doing drugs. <laughs> She didn't pick up on the joke right away. It kind of went over her head. No, because I said my phone is yeah. on drugs. No, because there's crack in your phone. No, like, there's a crack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was implying Woo! that the crack that you were implying was like cocaine. All right, shut up. All right. It reminds me of the lady with the deer. Did you see what? the only thing? There's a deer crossing. So this chick comes into the news station and says, they shouldn't have a deer crossing here. This is too busy for the industry. Oh, I saw that. Like, she was so hey, dumb. Mommy? So dumb. So like, dumb that it, it was unbelievable. To All right, I like, actually am smart. Wait, like she was she was saying, why do they allow the deer, deer to cross there? Yeah. Like they're not allowing the it. They're just warning people. Like in other words, deer, deer's going to read that sign. Yeah, like they're just warning people that there's deers there. This is dumb bitch. <laughs> and then there's those bangs. Yeah. <laughs> bangs. Bang, 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 grandma. <laughs> Guys, you want to hear how fucked up this is? My dad just realized today that he's not subscribed to my channel. How does that happen? You watch every vlog. It was oh, on the wait, Sabrina's. Lance, wait, <laughs> wait, real quick. You have Email. to follow me again on Instagram because I blocked you one time when I got mad at you. And then you have to... And then she blocked me so I got to refollow her. And, well, you lost my follow now, Bray. <laughs> wait, why? Blocked is the same thing. I'm not refollowing. I'm not, I wasn't following him on Twitter the other day. I was following the fake account. <laughs> what the fuck? People are making fake accounts of me, and my family members are following those oh, is accounts. That what I followed? <laughs> yeah, the fake oh, one. Yeah. Gio's got his leash on, just waiting for somebody to take him out. Who put this on? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> no one's taking him no, out. She wants to go take him out, and he went over. All right. Come on, Gio. Let's go. Here, I'll do it. What is this? <laughs> oh, the dick pops. Wait, you might get a. No, I'm good. You can make like dick popsicles with it. <laughs> that was one of the things that I showed you guys on Snapchat. You guys couldn't see it that clearly, so I just put it in there anyway right now. But that was something that somebody set in the P.O. box, and I told you guys, if I have any dirty shit that comes in the P.O. box, unfortunately I cannot put it on the video itself on YouTube, but I do put them on Snapchat. So if you guys don't have me added on Snapchat, add me. Username is right up here. And I'll show you guys all the dirty stuff we receive in our fan mail. It's actually pretty funny shit. We just wrapped up eating dinner. Me and Liz are going to head to the mall right now and then possibly go to Best Buy. I'm going to try and get a new camera. Man, I go through this process every week, but they never have any new fucking cameras in stock. I don't get why. Like, who around here in Jersey goes and buys them if they just sell I think out? they just don't order any. I think that's the issue. Because nobody buys them? Yeah. Ooh, that's a nice-ass Camaro. It was all fucking modded out. Uh, you guys can't really see it anymore, but it's an SS. 
sounded pretty nice too. They had a custom exhaust on it for sure. We just got to the mall and we're supposed to be meeting a what Frank here and I have no idea where he is right now. I just called him and he's not answering. Hmm. He should be here soon though. He said he was right around the corner like 10 minutes ago. He's walking. Oh, there he is now. All right. I was about to say. What's going on, kid? Yo, you take forever. You say you're right around the corner and take 10 years. I can't really, Dad. There you go. You got that hand. I was looking for your car. I was like, oh, wait, it's still getting wrapped. Yeah, it's in the shop. I should be getting it tomorrow or Friday. How's the therapy going? Pretty good. I can move it now. Really? This is like my middle finger. I'll flip you off. Ready? Look. I want to see the fingers. You just see the tip, right? Yeah. <laughs> we just have to come into the T-Mobile store really quick. Frank just has to get a new phone. All right, we just ran into a fan in a mall. What's up, bro? Bro, can you see your ass? I knew it, bro. <laughs> Want to give a shout out to anybody? Uh, shout out to my mom. There you go. AKA. Shout out to that slow ass Celica. What is that? It's a car. It's just car I like racing this car. Oh, he's roasting your car, bro. bro not his car. Not my car. car. Oh, all right. I got you. I'm famous already. There you go, bro. <laughs> Lizzie just ended up getting a smoothie. What kind? Skinny. Skinny. It's good. It's called. It's what's, called the skinny. what's it got? Strawberries and bananas? And blueberries. Guys, Cody would be in heaven right now. All this Pokemon yeah. stuff. Are you in heaven, Frank? Nah, I'm kind of over it. Oh, you are? Yeah. Did you delete the Pokemon Go app? I did because I needed space. That's cool though. Wow. Master Ball? It's like a push toy. We just left the mall and now we're heading into Best Buy and Frank is going to come as well. He went to get something for a GoPro. Man, I cannot wait to go into Best Buy just for them to tell me that they don't have any of the cameras in stock. It's going to be a fucking great day. <laughs> Alright, so I just talked to one of the reps over here and the thing is I might have to just end up getting a brand new camera and not the Canon G7X that I've been using because they don't have any in stock. They can't even order any online and obviously and honestly, I'm just getting a lot of issues right now with this. So, I might just have to end up getting a brand new camera that's different from this one. But it just sucks because I love this camera so much and it's so easy to use for vlogging. Alright, so I just talked to them and the only better option other than this camera is a camera that costs $200 more than this camera. So, I guess I'm just going to get the money back for this camera and then I'll pay the difference. This is so stupid though because I love this camera. Uh, so I'm gonna end up going from a Canon camera to a Sony. Okay guys, so I'm switching over to the brand new camera right now Please let me know down below if you notice any difference maybe sound quality wise or maybe just movie quality wise I hope you guys enjoy the new camera We don't have all these scratches and shit all over my camera lens for now at least until I fucking end up breaking it again <laughs> But uh, I think we're good now I'm gonna watch back this audio and see how it is as well But it seems to be pretty clear and the autofocus seems to be really good as well compared to my last camera All right So there's only one thing about this camera right now that I'm not liking and that's the fact that that the charges camera battery It came with a cord that plugs into the camera It doesn't actually come with a charging pack so you can just put the battery in there and I purposely bought a second battery for this camera in case that the battery dies, I can just replace it really quick. But I have to charge the battery through the camera itself. But I might have to buy like an accessory online to be able to charge the battery in like a pack. Okay guys, so I just watched back the video and honestly, I feel like the audio is more clear, but I feel like it's a little too clear. If you guys understand what I'm saying, like it's almost piercing my ears clear. So I don't really know if that's a good thing, I don't know if you guys like it better. But one thing I did notice about this camera is I don't even have it on 4K right now. It's on 1080p quality and it's so clear and the autofocus is really good. Like you can pretty much see my eyes perfectly clear. I think it's, it's a really good camera. That is for sure. Um, so we're actually going to start opening our fan mail pretty soon. We have all this stuff in the P.O. box that we didn't get a chance to open yet. So we're going to do that right now. So I was just able to order a battery pack online. It actually comes with two batteries plus the charger, and it's actually cheaper than the battery that I bought as a spare. So I don't know why I just didn't do that to begin with. I wasn't thinking correctly. But I should have that in a couple of days, so that's good. I'll be able to charge both batteries at the same time. All right, let's get started. Holy crap, we got a Nerf gun. And we got some Mega Bullets. Oh, this is like the other one we got the other day too. Now we got two of them, that's fucking sick. Awesome, thank you. This is from Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. This is from Clyde. Oh, it's an Audi R8 glass. That is so cool. It says Audi R8 on it. My name is also engraved on this. That is so cool. Next up, we got some type of knife. This is from David. Let's check out what David sent over. That is sick. <laughs> hey, a first aid kit. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you. Here we got... Oh my gosh, these maple leaf creams. We had these before and we absolutely destroyed them. 
Everybody loved these. Yum. And we also got this little plaque that says, You are beautiful, smart, strong, and very loved. Oh, that's pretty that's cool. Nice. This is from Emily from the UK. Thank you. And here it looks like we got another type of plaque and it says Lance 210 on it. Oh, that's so that's awesome. This is from Mark McCoon. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> got some ramen in here. This is from John Morford. Thank you, John. Hey, I see another knife. Oh, this is like the other one we got. Wow. Sweet. Thank you. And here we got a bunch of different candies. Let's check it out. We got Jelly Belly. Sour Patch Kids, Starburst, Randoms, Fruit Pastilles, and Wine Gums. Oh, we also got Dip Dab. And this is from Ollie. He's 14 and lives in the UK. Thank you. Uh, this has definitely got to be a Nerf gun. Yeah, I think it is. I can't open that. Can you pull this aside? Oh! oh my gosh. Holy shit. Who needs something like that? Oh, Wait, that's cool. This is the rival thing that we got before, but this is the like updated version of it. Oh my, oh my god. god. This thing is a beast. That is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys remember, we got a gun similar to this a couple weeks ago. It was the smaller version of this. That is insane. These balls actually hurt really bad. This is another Nerf gun. Thank There's you so no much. Note, is there a note in there? No. no. Uh, whoever sent this over, there was no note, but thank you. All right, next up is this package. It's from nuts.com. And I don't know what the, uh, is this prank money? I think it is. It says, get well soon, you nut. Hi, Lance. My name is Favier from Venezuela. I like so much your vlogs and pranks. Haha, <laughs> hope you get well soon. But they put $100 bills in here. This has got to be a prank. Let me see. I'll check it out for you. Dude, this is real hundreds. What? No way. Did, are you guys pranking me? No. no. You did it. You did it. My mom did it. All right, give me back my money. Yeah. It was really, it really was you? Yes, yeah. we went to the bank earlier and went through the money. Ah, uh, yeah, you fuckers. It's not easy to try to prank a prankster. Yeah, right? My, my parents put the money in there because I was wondering why the box was already open, like pre, pre me opening it. But let's actually see what's inside of here. Ooh! It's some type of candy. They're either M&M's or Reese's Pieces. I think they are Reese's Pieces. Oh, that's sweet! And then we also got some, like, gumdrops in here. That is awesome, thank you. You guys had me so confused, like, I was like, oh my god, I, I really wish nobody sent me, like, what is it, like $500 there? Yeah. I, I was trying to prank you, but it really didn't go off well, sorry. Yeah, I was really hoping, because, like, I, I feel so bad when people send me over money, it just makes me feel like crap. Guys, never send me money, please. No. <laughs> no, that was a prank, but, oh, these look great. Huh? <laughs> this didn't have a letter with it, but let's see what's inside. Let me open it for you. Uh, I'm trying, I got it. It's a mug. That's awesome, thank you. Here we got a bunch of Nerf bullets. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, we have so many Nerf bullets, it's not even funny. And here it looks like we got some type of GoPro mount. This might be for the dog or, oh, oh. I, think, I think you like slide it on your wrist. That'll come in handy. Cool. Cool, thank you. Okay, so me and Lizzie for the past hour and a half, I'd say, just cleaned up this entire pool table room. We just have to take the empty boxes outside because trash day is tomorrow. And we got pretty much everything cleaned up. Like there's nothing on the floor anymore. We had brought the majority of the stuff down the basement, in the back basement, and then we just have to take the rest of this trash out. But we forgot to actually open one box, so I'm gonna show you guys what's in there right now. So in this box, there is actually like a machete in here, <laughs> which is not good for me, as you guys already know. Um, let's see what kind of machete this is. Oh Holy my gosh. Shit. That is fucking insane. That is crazy looking. You guys know I will not be messing with this <laughs> anytime soon. Uh, let's put it back in the case right now, <laughs> but thank you. This package is from Brandy Stevens. So me and Lizzie are super hungry right now, so we just decided to come to Wawa really quick or to grab some food, and then I'll probably head back and start editing my vlog, because I'm getting pretty tired as well. So I just got the same thing I usually always get, the ham and cheese bagel melt. Oh my gosh, guys, I just got my hands on the iPhone 7. Look at this. Look how fucking crazy it is. It looks almost exactly the same as the previous one. You want to know why? Because it is. <laughs> but here's the thing, all the iPhones look the same, but the only difference is like the backing. So, oh fuck, I just dropped my phone. Good job. Good thing it wasn't a tile floor, I would have been fucked. <laughs> but um, no, 
I'm actually gonna be getting the new one soon, so that'll be pretty cool. But yeah, like they never change anything on the phones. Like they all look the same. So we're opening up the ghost pillar right now. We're gonna try it out and see how it is. What side are you supposed to lay on? I guess this side? I don't know. Ooh, it's comfy as hell. <laughs> There's like a weird smell to it. Probably just that new smell. See, I probably actually have to like use this overnight to be able to tell a difference. But like it is it, pretty cool. You might need a pillowcase over it, too. Hmm. I don't know. But it's definitely comfy as hell. That is for sure. I think that's pretty much going to wrap up today's vlog, guys. I'm super tired. I also have to wake up pretty early tomorrow because I have to go to another therapy session for my hand. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bloody.